Hello guys, my name is Amido Sufyan. Welcome to our WordPress introductory course where you'll learn the fundamentals of building and managing websites using WordPress. So, what is WordPress? WordPress is a widely used open source content management system that allows users to create and manage websites with ease. Originally, it was designed for, as a blogging platform, but WordPress has evolved into a versatile tool for building any type of website, from simple blogs to complex e-commerce sites and corporate portals. WordPress offers a user-friendly interface, customizable themes, and a vast array of plugins, which extends its functionality. It also allows users with little or no programming knowledge to create, edit, and manage website content through a web browser. With its extensive community support and frequent updates, WordPress remains a popular choice for individuals, small businesses, and large enterprises looking to establish an online presence. So, in this course, we'll guide you through the process of installing WordPress on your local host using Local WP, a popular tool for creating a local development environment. All right, so we'll navigate to the official site for Local WP so that we can download our local WP. So you click on this first link you see. Wait for it to load. So this is the official site for local WP. You can either download for free by clicking this button on our screen here or this top right button, this download top right button. So let's go ahead and download local WP. So we're supposed to fill in the information that we see here. So you click on this. If you're using a Mac, these other options are for you. If you're using a Windows like myself, this option is for you. Or if you're Linux based, you can click on this one. Since we're using Windows, I'm going to select Windows. Then I'll fill the information. Then once we're done, we'll click on get it now. After this, they said your download is starting soon, so you can verify to see that the download is actually going. Since I have a local WP already installed, we'll just go ahead with the installation process. So this is my setup file here. All right, so we'll navigate to the official site for local WP so that we can download our local WP. So. You click on this first link you see, wait for it to load. So this is the official site for local WP. You can either download for free by clicking this button on our screen here or this top right button, this download top right button. So let's go ahead and download local WP. So we're supposed to fill in the information that we see here. So <clears throat> you click on this, if you're using a Mac, these other options are for you if you are using a windows like myself this option is for you or if you're linux based you can click on this one since we're using windows i'm going to select windows then i'll fill the information here that's my name and then once we're done we'll click on get it now after this they said your download is starting soon so you can verify to see that the download is actually going on our local WP already downloaded, so we'll go ahead with the installation process. So this is my setup file here, so we'll click on it. So please select whether you wish this software to be available for all users or just yourself. So I want it to be available for every user on my machine. So click on next and install. This is going to take some time still based on the speed of the and as you can see we're done with our installation process so click on finish so this is what our local wp looks like if you don't have an account yet it shows we we aren't locked in yet so if you don't have an account yet, we can go ahead and create an account. If not, we just log in to the account we already created. So let's log into our account. Okay, once you're logged in, you're going to have a page just like this. 
and to create a new site you click on this plus button down here so click on it you say create a new website we're creating a new website we'll click on continue so what is the name of your site so let's name it uh, e gadget shop dot com so this is the name of my site click on continue continue so your wordpress username and your password this is the login credentials you're going to use subsequently in order to log into your site so this is these are my login credentials and we'll click on add site <clears throat> so it is going to take some time to add the website that spread our wordpress website for us so we'll give it some time to load So, as you can see, our eGadgetShop.com has been created, and this is these are the various informations of our site. This is our site domain, eGadgetShop.com.local. So, we can go ahead to open our site or to open our WP Admin. This WP Admin is where we're going to be connected to our dashboard in order to make changes to our site. So, if you click on WP Admin. We wait for it to load so remember the login credentials we created when we were creating our local wp account so we are going to log in with the same login credentials so your username and your password so this is our wordpress website dashboard and if we hover over this our domain name here you're going to see visit site so if you click on visit site it's going to take us to our site so this is our e gadget shop our default page created by WordPress for us so this is our site you can over back and go back to our dashboard so this is what we have here so our dashboard we can either create posts, we can upload media, we can create pages, comments, we can change appearance. So we're going to go into the settings that is to make general changes to our WordPress website we just created. So we we'll click on settings, we we'll go to general. Within this general, there are a lot of things you can make changes to. So in the general settings, you can see this our domain name, this is our site title. Egadgetshop.com. If you don't like it, you can make changes to it. So, if your if your if your site has a tagline, okay, we have Egadget Shop. Maybe our tagline can be shop anywhere, anytime with us. Your timeline can be anything, so it's up to you to make changes to that. So <clears throat> we can also change our time zone, we can change our site language and our date format. Do you want it this way or you, you prefer it this way? So it's all up to you. You can also change your time format. You can either choose either of these or actually a custom time of your choice and going down you can also make changes when does your week start does it start on monday or sunday so that's up to you. you can make changes to that as well so once you're done with all the settings you save changes so the next setting we're going to be looking at will be permalinks so you click on permalinks you click on permalinks it determines how your site name is going to show on your search bar so the best permalink structure is the post name because it is simple and straight to the point if you choose month and name it's going to make your permalink structure to be very long and sometimes annoying so to make it simple and straight to the point you either use plain or post name 
So once you're done with that, you click on save changes. The next setting we're going to be going through will be users. You can add users. That means the number of people who can log into your your account. So you can add a new user, give him a name, an email, and a, a, a login credentials as well. So what I'm interested in here is the profile, how to change your profile and who, how to update your profile. So under users, over you, you click on profile. So in this profile, you're going to decide what your dashboard or what your site should look like. So if you're a fan of a dark team like me, you remain with uh, this default team. So if you want it, coffee, sunrise, light, ectoplasm. So based on your preference, you can decide to change the color scheme of your site. So you can stay with this. So you can also change your name, your last name, or your nickname also your email you can update them so you can also change your profile picture so this is where you can change your profile picture so if you click on this we are going to sign up so we're going to log in we're going to create an account with so an email will be sent to that account okay this is our gmail so continue to cover them to confirm our gmail So now we have an account created for Gravity. So we can either upload our image or use the camera to snap another. So let's upload an image. Currently, I don't have a profile yet, but let's use this. I'll just upload any image. So you can upload your personal image to your site. setting up our avatar for our profile picture so as you can see our profile has been updated so in our subsequent videos we are going to be redesigning our site and making it look better so i hope you learned something i hope you enjoyed the video see you in our next class thank you